In our last video, we created the first welcome message of our campaign. Now we're going to create the second message of our campaign. And we'll show you how to tie them together so they send intelligently to users at the right time. Let's jump back into Engage and get started. The next message we want to create will be a message to get the user to create their first project. We're going to create the next auto message that will be sent in this campaign. So let's click on the blue button to create it. Once again, we'll give this message a title that will let anyone identify it and we'll tie it back to the campaign title as well. Okay, now let's set the audience. With Engage, we can tie messages together using audiences. For this message, we want it to send to the users in the campaign who have opened the first welcome message. To do this is simple with Engage. We simply add a rule to target people who opened the welcome message. This is how we intelligently tie messages together and ensure they're sent at the right time to the right people. To add on to this, we'll also target people in the campaign who have read our beginner's guide. But there's a small caveat here. We want it to send to people in our campaign who opened the welcome message or who have read the beginner's guide. So we'll add a rule to target people where read beginner's guide is true. But we'll change the condition between the rules to or by setting them to match any of these rules instead of all of these rules. Next, we'll set the channel, we'll write the actual message, and we'll set how it will be sent. I'm going to go through this quite quickly again to save some time, but if you want to learn about building messages, check out our other videos which I'll link on the screen now. So I'll set the channel once again to in-app, and we'll set it to deliver wherever they open the app first. To quickly write our message, I'm going to copy and paste the text into our composer. Once I do that, you can see we're still keeping it quite personal in format. But this time, we'll insert a short video for the users to watch. If this was a real message that we wanted to send to users, we'd expect the video to quickly explain how to create a project. But in this case, I'll just put in a random video. Now, we'll set the message type to chat and send it as a badge this time, as we don't want to really interrupt the user. But we do want them to know that we're trying to speak to them. Finally, we want to set the goal for this message. As we said at the start, the goal of this message is to get the user to create a project. So we'll set the goal to project count is increased. So if a user reads this message and then goes on to create a project, which means their project count will get increased, it means our goal has been achieved. Finally, we'll save and close the message again. Now let's navigate back to the campaign overview as we can see, our second message has been added to the list. In the next video, we'll create the last message in our campaign. Before then, have a go creating your second message in the campaign and see how you get on.